<laughs> you know, here here we go, and I've already seen it, immediately with, I mean immediately, the game ended. Oh my gosh, all these haters can stop saying Lamar Jackson can't win a playoff game, and it was dumb to say that in the first place because he's only been in the league for a few years. And, and my response, because I did say, I've said that multiple times, is, hey, one of the knocks is he hasn't won a playoff game. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this argument comes out after the game that that, that should, was ignorant to say because he's so young and so new in the league. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that we were supposed to hold elite athletes to such a low standard. That's, that's my fault. I'm sorry for criticizing the freaking league MVP for not being able to win a playoff game. He, dare he won the MVP last year. And, and all of a sudden, everyone's got to act like it's this huge deal that he can't win the playoff First game. of all, how dare you? Right, how dare me, first of all. <laughs> but do you see how ridiculous that sounds? Okay, so let me just go ahead and chop that one off. He completely, you know what, the bed in his first two playoff games. And he nearly, look, this one started off looking like, and I know Ravens fans had to be thinking, oh boy, here we go again. Ravens fans are the ones that I, I believe if you put the truth serum in a lot of them, they would be like, yeah, I've got my worries about the future with Lamar Jackson because there's issues throwing the football. But they would never show that. It's always, you know, he, oh, we're going to win the game no matter what happens because it's Lamar Jackson. <laughs> like and, and and they were down. The Titans were up ten nothing. They the first drive looked in, incredible. They were moving the ball not not great on the ground to start, but AJ Brown is a is a freak of nature and was making plays. And they scored a touchdown and looked awesome. Great throw by Ryan Tannehill. And you're thinking, wow, the Titans here we go. They did it last year to the Ravens. Here we go. And then everything just went down the drain. Here's where I give Lamar Jackson his credit, because I will give it where it's due. Yeah, look, great that he won a playoff game. Awesome. Good for him to get that monkey off the back, because I'm sure it was a heavy one. He runs the ball better than a lot of people in the NFL. Like, when he is hitting those holes, they're very slim, too. And he's so fast. The speed he has as a quarterback position is really incredible. But he didn't throw the ball that well again. And then that's how you beat the Ravens. We know that now. The way to beat the Ravens, you jump out to a lead and you force them to throw it to catch up because they will make mistakes doing that. It's a nice little mixture for them. Lamar Jackson, not great at throwing the football, especially not deep. They don't have weapons, right? And the play calls aren't good. They don't have anybody to throw the football to. Mark Andrews is, to me, the best receiver. He's better than Hollywood Brown on that team. Marquise Brown has done very few things besides show off his speed that have made me think he's going to be a good receiver in the NFL before it's all said and done. So... With all that being said, I, I really like watching Lamar Jackson. I don't hate on him, believe it or not. I do critique him where I think it's fair because at some point, and especially here in these playoffs, you're going to have to throw the ball to win the game. And I think it's coming against the Bills. You can't t- – look, that's the thing in this game too. Give the Ravens credit defensively. They held Derrick Henry, who looks like he's going to pop off for 200 a game to around 40 yards. That's incredible. They stopped the game plan, and the Titans weren't good enough to come back and throw the football themselves. Ryan Tannehill wasn't able to solely win the game with his arm. He throws the pick at the end of the game. By the way, Marcus Peters, I just want to say this. He made the interception. As a Chiefs fan, I I think I speak for a lot of Chiefs fans here. Don't miss Marcus Peters at all. That dude, he's just a problem. But when it comes to this game with the Titans, again, I go back to coaching. Mike Vrabel, dude, we talked about bad decision on fourth down. Who pooed the bed? This is completely different because you have the arguably best running back, especially one you needed two yards. Fourth and two, and you're on the Ravens 40-yard line. And you in the fourth quarter, you're down, and you punt the football? Am I missing something here? It it was something wrong with Derrick Henry where he couldn't – I know he was getting stuffed all game, but two yards – you you put in your extra you put in your big package jumbo package you throw your fullback in there heck Ryan Tannehill blocks yeah and you get two yards and you keep going and that could I think that right there was worse of a decision and cost in the game more so than Mike Tomlin's later in the night that was absolutely terrible so a lot of things went right for the Ravens to win this game Lamar Jackson freak on the ground absolute freak on the ground but let's stop acting like and that's the thing I told you ever since Bill Polian. You know, when he came in the league, said, oh, my gosh, Lamar Jackson, would you think about becoming a wide receiver? It set everybody off. 
It gave the entire Ravens franchise everything they needed to say. We got the backs against the wall. We got the target on our back. Nobody believes in Lamar Jackson. They think he should play a different position, which wasn't a crazy question in the first place. It actually made sense, if you think about it, with what he can do with the football. So it's, it's unbelievable. I'll give him credit. But my goodness, and everybody understands this, the Ravens are in trouble when it comes to throwing the football, especially if it means to win a game. That's the thing. Like, running the football. He's so good. And, and guess what? You're going to run into games against teams that are so susceptible to that, and if they can't answer on the other end throwing the football, you're going to win ball yeah. games, man. Yeah. And it just so happened to be in the postseason. So, I no, I'm not going to give Lamar credit. Sole, I mean, solely give him credit for winning this game. No. He was a big part of it. But the defense shutting – if. Derrick Henry goes for 160, 170, what he's used to in that game. They don't lose that game. No. And they did a great job. You know, the Titans took him to overtime in the regular season and beat him in overtime. It was a tight one there. And I give credit for the Ravens coming back. And, and everyone's freaking out. You know, oh, my gosh, they danced on the field after the interception, the disrespect. Look, the Titans did it to them earlier in the year. Yeah, they let's, did. Let's not get started. There was a that. lot more Titans yeah, on the logo. It's, it's a little bit of revenge. That's not really a huge deal. So th- I, I, that's where I am, though, with Lamar Jackson. And I don't hate on him, but I do – find it extremely annoying and it's not just the the fans you espn bleacher report any national publication of sports rides this dude like he's the next lebron james and they feel like they gotta oh everything's so against lamar jackson like no we all want him to succeed like i want him to succeed but until he does throw in the football we're not gonna act like he is this all-time great quarterback in the league so i'll give him credit i'll give him credit everybody heard it he did a great job but not throwing the football.